Today is December 13th, 2006, and this is Scriggity. I already did the what time is it thing. I think that's getting just a tad bit old. Scriggity time. Scriggity. 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 Let's get to it! David spun us this tale. Now, as we all know, alcohol can be a very nice thing when a rough day gets you down. I hear you, man. Actually, alcohol is a very nice thing, even if you had a good day. Moral of the story. Alcohol is a nice thing. Well, about five months ago, I had rough days almost every Friday. This meant that after a hellacious night of cooking for inconsiderate people, it would be time to bond a little with my friend, Captain Morgan. Clintus is a, uh, big fan of the Captain Morgan. Well, Captain, it's just me and you tonight. Uh, me? Oh, uh, I'm too young to drink. <laughs> No drinking for me. <laughs> no, I couldn't possibly take that drink from you, sir. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm underage. <laughs> okay, so maybe I've had a little. <laughs> These, they're for my friends. I collect bottles for my friends. I collect them. Actually, Scout's Honor. So off to a friend's house at about midnight, and at about 12.15, after three Captain and Cokes, and about five shots of straight Captain, you can say it was a little hard for me to stand up. You're a lightweight. Five shots and you're already weeble wobblyish. Lame. I myself am a studio wrestling fan, so during this entire time I have around my waist a plastic kids replica championship belt. What you gonna do when the Captain... Morgan wrestling fan who has a kitty belt on goes wild on you. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. Yeah, well, it was time to let go of some of the liquids I had bonded with so well. However, the bathroom is upstairs. Oh my science. This can't be good. One time, Drew got uber drunk and went upstairs to puke. Except when he got there, he was still looking for the next flight of stairs. There weren't any. I won't elaborate any further. So I hauled my drunk ass upstairs and used the bathroom with greater ease than I had anticipated. The only problem came when I tripped over my friend's cat and fell on my face at the top of the stairs. Ah! That mother whisker sat its fat ass right up there and tripped you. Must be a wrestling fan too, huh? I think they call that a leg sweep, right? Yeah? As I laid there, I was overcome with a flashback of my childhood. Uh-oh. My dipshit senses are tingling. A flashback in which, as a child, I would crawl face-first down the steps, mimicking Spider-Man. <laughs> no. Tell me you didn't. Now, freshly inspired to impress my friends, I yell, SPIDER-MAN! Yeah, you did. And begin to crawl down the steps with much success. That is, until my kid's replica belt got caught and snapped. In my panic, I yelled, OH NO, MY BELT! And reached to grab it. Good call. Save the belt. A true wrestler knows to never leave his belt behind. Oh, no, wait. Or is that a drunk dipshit knows to never leave his belt behind? Either way, this is some pretty funny shit. Now, remember, I am almost upside down with my hands holding up all of my weight, and all of a sudden they are no longer holding my weight. Instead, they are holding my waist. Yeah, the result was me bashing my face into the steps and rolling ass over tin cubs down the steps and severe amounts of pain. I don't know what's funnier. Picturing you rolling down the steps, holding on to a kitty belt, screaming Spider-Man, or the phrase, ass over tin cups. Good thing I had a little captain in me, cause much of the pain was not felt until the next day. So the moral of the story is, stairs plus alcohol plus childhood daydreams equals a lot of good laughs and four months of chiropractor visits later. No, 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 no. The moral of the story is, only hang out with friends who have first floor bathrooms. Don't slide down carpeted steps with your championship belt on. Spider-Man had webs they shot out of his wrist. You, or anyone else, intoxicated or not, shot out. Clearly don't. Well, we here at Scriggity are glad you lived to tell the tale. Shoulda went for Superman. Probably would have been safer. Ass over tin cups? What the hell does that even mean? Ass over tin cups? 
Today is 12-12-2006, and this is, well, I don't know what this is. This is going to be my new show. My problem is, I don't know what it's going to be about. Drew and I had uh, bounced a few ideas back and forth, and um, he came up with the idea of asking the viewers, asking the Scriggity viewers, what would they like to see for a Scriggity-type show? Well, then he kind of started thinking a little more about that, and he goes, why don't we do that each week? I mean, each week you pull a different show idea and do it as your show. Kind of like a choose your own adventure. And as soon as he said that, I was like, choose your own adventure. I fucking love those books. Each week, we're going to take your show idea and I'm going to do it. Whether it's, it could be a cooking show, it could be like a dare, like a jackass type of, you know, crazy video. It could be something sports related. It could be even like interviews, street interviews. It could be even uh, just me, you know, ranting about something. Whatever. I don't know. You tell me what you want to see, and I'll do it. Help us find a show topic, and who knows? Next week you might see your show idea come alive. This is Clintus McGintis from IDoItDigital.com saying, stay Scriggity. Thanks for watching Scriggity. We'll be back again next Wednesday with a new episode. Until then, submit your news to news at Scriggity.com or send it to Scrig.com. You guys stay squiggity. I love you guys. If you haven't watched it yet, you should.